Hey everyone, this is ENC. Welcome to Board Game Life. In this episode, what I'm going to be doing is looking at some of my oldest board games. Some really vintage stuff. And unfortunately, I'd like to say that these are all games that I've played and I could tell you about, you know, but I can't because I haven't played uh, some of them. Some of them I have played, but some of them I haven't. And even the ones that I have played, it's been a really, really super long time. But these are the oldest games that I own that are actually kind of unique games. Rather than, like, I do have some old, like, chess sets. And I do have some old, like, I have a really old game of Twister. But, uh, and then I also have some really old um, Trivial Pursuit games. But uh, I thought, you know, th those are all, you know, regular kind of games. And I kind of want this show to be, uh, although we might get into that later, but, uh, you know, for right now, I kind of want this to be more about the, uh, in you know, the unique kind of games and stuff like that. So I pulled out some of the oldest games that I have that were sitting around in my, in my, um, garage and decided to unbox them here for you and talk about each one a little bit show you what's inside of them as best i can i pulled them out and i cleaned them off so they don't look quite as old but they still kind of look as as matter of fact as you can see there's i didn't quite clean off all the all the dust on all of them so these are pretty old games so there's really no order here that i want to start with i just kind of want to start with what i'm going to start with i just kind of whoops kind of stacked them. Oop, my table is wobbly. Oh well. All right, look at this. This is advertising. Teasing. Something like that. Who knows? All right, well, I guess you know if you know how to read better than I do, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how old some of these games are because there are some things on here who that are, uh, they'll, they'll give a date on it, but I'm not sure if the if the date actually coincides when it was produced or just when it was made. So I guess you can say at the earliest, uh, the copyright on this is 1988. 1988, that's pretty cool, 1988. So let's open this one up and see what's inside and then we will move to the next one. And I don't know how to play this game at all, so I can't tell you like anything really about it at all. Okay, so. And some of these I actually did not buy. Some of these like I either inherited or, or um, you know, people gave them to me or something like that. So advertising. And there's a long time there, unfortunately, where I didn't play any games at all because, you know, life's just kind of getting in the way and then I'll get games and I'll be like, oh, I really want to play that game and then I never really get around to it. And so really playing games... The, all the games that I bought and wanted to play, where it was sparse, is now becoming more of a reality as I kind of open up this program. So forgive me if I seem like I don't know what I'm doing, because in part I really don't know what I'm doing. So here's this game here, and oh, I don't know what's on the inside of that, but it didn't look good. All right, so let's look at the, this game comes with. It comes with uh, the rules. All right. That it comes with, I think, some advertisements on other games. Yeah, there's one called Cinderella, Wizard of Oz, The Seven Dwarfs. Who's this produced by? It's produced by Catico. Who's this? This, this is produced by. It's ages adult for two to four players or a team. So you can be on a team, whatever. And so there's some actually some kids games in there. I don't know if you can see that too well. I'll bring that up closer to the camera so you can have a look at that. Look at that. Catico. Catico. More fun game stuff that we can play. Oop. Got to get a stabilizer for that. All right. So here are the cards that I'm sure go along with the game. And let me just pull out this first card and read it and see what's on it. It says, when I say blank, I mean business. Avoid five o'clock shadow campaign for uh, ginger ales. And then on the back, it has some stuff too. So you can look at that card there like that. And then on the back like that. And 
let's see if this if these cards because there's a second deck of cards in here let's see if these cards look any different or if they're just kind of more of the same yeah it says blank for saint tropez tan yada 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 boom 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 yada 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 on the back there so it looks fun um and it comes with a timer it comes with a timer yeah. so some type of game that comes with a timer and then the board of this game is actually the inside here so that's the board game that's the board part of the game that you can see here all right 1988 i'm not sure if that's the oldest one or not okay so i have no idea so i'll put all these back away and we will hopefully be playing this in the near future on one of our game nights okay let's see here at the next one now this is a game i have played scruples scruples as you can see here now you're probably going to know what scruples is about it uh yes no depends um let's see what uh 1986 so i'm not sure if i got this game in 1986 i would have been quite young so i know that i've played this game so this i believe this is a game that i did not buy but i played so i know i played the game um but it was in 1986 so i doubt that i was the one who picked it up because in 1986 i would have been like 13 or something like that so i doubt that i played this game but i'm not i doubt that i bought this game but as you know scruples i kind of question whether or not i should bring this up bring this in because i didn't there are some older games like some old trivial pursuit games but everybody knows how to play trivial pursuit it's not you know it's not unique enough for for me to really want to play it on on this channel right now or talk about it but um scruples is one of those games that i think is kind of in between something that's unique and something that everybody plays so here is um, so that's kind of why I decided it was, I was kind of in between, but I thought, well, I better throw one in there that I have played, but yeah, pretty old game, 1986. And let's see what's on the inside. No, the inside is a mess. Now, obviously this is one of those games that has been played before because as you can see, now everything's not in a nice tight package. It's, it's, uh, been played open and shifted around. So here is that and you know how it kind of works um you know they ask you they ask you questions uh, and i remember one of the questions was it's so dated now because you know times have changed so much but one of the questions they asked that i remember was like if you found out that your favorite restaurant was that you love this restaurant but uh you found out that they were like seriously uh, uh that they had immigrant workers there and they were seriously underpaying them would you go back to uh to that restaurant so here's the different here as well let's see here i'll show you one more piece there boom okay all righty and here's the cards and stuff like that which um i'll go into a little bit of different piles these these cards here you know are you a devil or are you an angel you go into different piles but i am not going to take the time here and show you you know which piles i go into basically all i'm trying to do here is arrange it so it doesn't fall out on the ground anymore okay so let's And this one was produced by Milton Bradley, as you know. I have no idea what that is. That's an old, ooh, that's an old rubber band, all crusty. Boom, okay. So, whoa. I should take this out and put this in the blooper reel, right? I don't have blooper reels. We would check, uh, well, I was gonna say check it out. There's a rubber band wrapped around, but it just snapped. All right, so that is, that's that, right? Easy enough. Scruples, Milton Bradley. You've probably played it. This is a fun game here. Okay, this is called What's It? A game. This is another game by by Milton Bradley. I don't know if you've played it or not. 
uh, let's see, it's uh, an adult ages 12 and up for three or more players, and it is 1987. And let's see if these actually have like time to play the game on. But I think it's, I think that that before that that industry became huge and, and kind of became a subculture, that they really didn't have the the, the play time on it as most games do now. I mean, like whether it takes an hour, or half hour, or whatever. I'm not seeing any playtime on any of these, so this must have come out before. Let me look at the advertising one, because it doesn't say... Um, it doesn't say play playtime, like how long it takes to play. Okay, so, oh well. All right. Uh, what's it, what's it, what's it? Now, I'm not going to go over every aspect of the game, but basically it gives you these little cars, cards and you try to figure out like what they mean, basically. Um, uh, you, you'll see. I'll sh uh -oh. I got it upside down. I'm all, ooh, ooh, I'm talking, I'm talking. What's it? There we go. What's it? All this game I own. All right, there's the board for what's it? Let me just make sure you can see that there. Your players go across the board. Here is the rolls. rolls of the game. There's that. It has a timer in it because you can't take forever to figure it out. And it is kind of one of those games where you got to kind of figure out. And then they've got stuff for other things. Well, look at that. I've got an advertisement for what's it on here and I've also got an advertisement for scruples cool alright here are the pieces your, your player pieces like that okay there's another one there those are your player pieces and here are your cards and the cards kinda give you clues and you try to figure it out this is one of those games that you can that like I don't know, there's sites now and, you know, web pages and Facebook pages that kind of do this already. But basically, you just look at the cards and you try to figure out, you know, what, what they mean. So, all right, too complex for me on that first draw there. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that card right there. Glory. It's glory spelled backwards, though. And the answer is reflected glory. Whoa. So you try to, so it gives you these little things and you try to figure out. So whether, how well you figure it out, it says a bad spell of weather. So see, weather is not spelled properly and then you figure out kind of the phraseology, a bad spell of weather. And depending upon how well you do, depends upon how well you're able to go across the board and win the game and show your intellectual superiority to all your friends. Okay, so that's what's it. All right, now the next game I know that I haven't played. I have not played this game. I'm going to guess that this is a game that I picked up somewhere. And as, as I've talked before on the channel, my wife hates board games. Real sad, I know. Getting a divorce over it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but um, she's really into other things. And I've tried to get games that I think that she would like. But she just doesn't really ever take the time to do this. And this is Therapy. Therapy the game. Right? In case it wasn't tough enough in real life, you have Therapy the game. It's playing on your psychological fears. Now, how old this game is? I don't think I bought this. If I bought it, I bought it secondhand or it was given to me. Uh, it, says eight, it says for three to six players or teens, ages teen to adults. There is no time on this game. And I am seeing Pressman is the name of the game company. 
but I am not seeing, oh wait a sec, copyright 1980, 1986. So this is before I was married and before um, uh, it's either one, one of the games somebody gave me or I picked up somewhere along the, along the way, but it was probably a game that I more than likely picked up so that I could get my wife interested, like the CSI game that I told you about last time. But, um, cool, therapy. Ah, therapy. So let's just open it up. I've never played it, so I have no idea what's inside. I might have looked inside at one time, but I, I don't remember at all. So here's therapy. There are the rules. The rules. Okay, let's look at the board. Let's look at the board. Ooh. Hope that wasn't a spider. All right. Wow. This is crazy. This is a big board. A big board. A big board. Whoa. Look at that board. I'll show you here a little bit. Therapy. 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 Whoa. All right, look at that. Look at that. Look at those interesting words. So obviously you move across the board somehow. I might have to actually, I might have to play this one real soon here. This looks very, this looks, this actually looks really interesting to me. Here are the little, obviously the little player things. Um, and uh, I think they have, they have these little holes in them here, as you can see. And I think the whole reason they have these holes in it is so that uh, you can, I don't know, maybe put these in them. That's kind of what I'm gathering from just looking at the box. The back of the box, it has a die in here as well. So these little things like this, let's make sure you can see them, are obviously to put this here. So maybe this is your therapy. I'm just imagining this. I have no idea. This is your therapy couch, and these are your patients you put on your couch, and maybe how many problems you solve. But that's kind of what takes takes it up. All right. All right. So try, and it has these cards, and one of them says uh, childhood, and one of them says seniority and one of them says infancy and one of them says cosmos and then a therapy card and then a childhood and adulthood let me just look at one of these cards to kind of see what it is one of them actually says therapy oh an adolescent see look how old that rubber band is it's just Flaking off. That's how old this game is. Oh, there's a second die. So obviously, obviously two die. Ooh, adolescence. Adolescence. Let's look. Just let's just look at one of the cards here. Adolescence. See that? And it says if your teenage son was talking, taking regular drinks of the following, which one would make him a candidate for drug abuse? Ginger ale, bromo seltzer, milk of magnesia. And the answer is bromo seltzer. Bromide intoxication can be so dangerous that some physicians maintain it should be uh, dispensed by by prescription only. All right, so I don't know how that, I'm sure that all these cards kind of do the same thing. And then, oh, look at that, a crisis card. A crisis card, How's Midnight. Your daughter's first date knocks at the front door. Go directly to psychosis. <laughs> I, I think I might have to play this one soon. This looks like a lot of fun. And here's the one that says therapist on it. It says therapist. So tell me blank, given the choice, the choice, would you rather read a terrific true story or a terrific fictional one? All right, well, enough of that. Very interesting. The board looks very interesting to me as well. So that might have to be one of my 
filmed game nights. All right. Last one. Last one. All right. It's so funny. This last one. I almost, I almost didn't uh, bring this one because uh, it's, uh, it's a really cool game, but it's all over the place. Like it's all, uh, it's a mess. It's a mess. And uh, I'll show you why in a second. But this is it's a trivia game, and it's different than just regular trivia, okay? So you have to understand I have a little bit of a rock and roll streak to me. You can look at my other channel. I have another channel, by the way. It is called Cereal for Dinner, and that is also a podcast. It's going to be a podcast shortly. I'm actually recording the podcast right now, but Cereal for Dinner... Uh, and it just all fell out and that's why so rock and roll trivia rock and roll trivia and I had to put it this way because it all fell out look at this uh oh 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 see this is a mess this needs some work ooh let's see Beatles and it has these cards in it and it has let me pull out the trivia board for you. All right, boom. And it's got the people in here somewhere. It's got some dice. And the has the little people that represent, you know, going around the board, me landing on the squares. It is a trivia game. Uh, let's see how old this game is. Let me see if I can see how old it is. Rots of Rock. Let's, let me read one of these first here. Okay, so you see that that's the roughs of rock. And it says, The Blank Watsy by or Ornals. Um, boy, I don't know, 1962. Uh, who released My Dingling in 1972? Chuck Berry. Love rock. This is. Uh, you know, I mean, it's going to be across the board. If you like rock, it's going to be one of those things that you either, you know, either appeal to you or doesn't appeal to you. And there are a lot of things in here I'm going to know, and there are a lot of things in here I am not going to know. All right. Let me pick up the rest of this. Sorry, you had to see that. Uh, let's see. I hope that I didn't show you anything inappropriate there when I bent over. I guess we'll fix it in post. Uh, yeah, let's look at... Um, it's by Pressman, and the copyright on it is 1984. I obviously did not pick this up. This was either a hand-me-down uh, or a gift or something like that. 4,000 questions, 8 categories, 2 or more players, 8 ages, 14 and up. Uh, see the bottom of the box for more directions, for more information. Oh, a rock trivia from the Beatles to Bowie. So, obviously, you know, if it was produced in 1987, you are not going to get anything about Nirvana or Alice in Chains or anything like that. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe please share this on your favorite social media it would really mean a lot to me as i said i have another channel uh it's called cereal for dinner it's a podcast dealing with generation x stuff so it's not like just all rock stuff or something like that i'm actually going to be recording a podcast today and you know obviously people aren't going to listen to this right when this the other podcast come out we're going to be talking about star wars on my other podcast so we just talked about on that other on the other channel and the other podcast about things Generation X growing up, stuff like that. So uh, if you like what I'm doing, I would really appreciate the subscription. It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, the other thing that I would encourage you to do is if there's a game out there that you want to see me play and do a review on, please leave that in the comment section. So, all right, we will talk to you again on our next episode of Board Game Live. Thanks.